Hey, my name is Lunar. Welcome to this guide for collecting all the collectibles in Quantum Break in Act 1, Part 1 of the game. Before I show you all the locations, if you enjoyed this video and find it useful, don't forget to drop a like, it helps me out a lot. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Collectibles in Quantum Break are relatively easy to find, but I'm still going to make this guide anyway because a couple of them are a bit out of the way, not so much in this first part. And if you want to know what the collectibles are split into, they're breaking down into Quantum Ripples, Intel, Chronon sources, documents, computers, and media. And each of those are broken down again. For example, media, there are video files, there are audio files, that kind of thing. But that's not really a big part of it. If you take a look at any of the acts in your timeline, you can see the overall progress of all of the collectibles that you've discovered. And they are 8 Quantum Ripples, 9 Intel, 60 Chronon sources, 61 documents, 45 computers, and 23 media. So that is everything that you have to collect for the entire game. So let's get into the actual collectible part. At the very beginning of the game, okay, you start here at the opening to this university and the collectibles are actually really, really easy to find. Unlike a lot of games, there's no map to show you guys exactly where things are. So you just kind of have to go exactly where I go. I will try explain it as best I can if some of them are out of the way. But for the first one, all you have to do is go to this map of the campus that's immediately on your left when you begin the game. When you hit X on it, it will unlock the collectible. That's all you have to do. The next one, if you go up the stairs and into this little corridor bit that takes you into kind of the main courtyard, there is a poster and it's for a flyer of the protests. If you continue along this corridor, there is a notice board. You could take a look at the Stop Monarchs Problem poster and that is your third collectible. Immediately behind it, there is another poster board and this one has a seminar poster and that is your fourth collectible. If you go into the main circle, there is a radio on the chair. I can't click on it yet because I've already done so. Once you click on it, it will disappear. But that, if you listen to that, that is the next collectible. If you go around the circle, there is Amy's Monarch timeline. That is just this notice board here that has a timeline of all of Amy's Monarch problems. You can click on that, that is your sixth collectible. And if you go into the tent on the right hand side of it, here is a TV where you can watch the trailer for a TV show, and that is your seventh collectible. That just leaves two more on the outside part of this campus. Immediately from the TV, head to the entrance of the physics building, and immediately on your left, there is two more notice boards with more flyers that you can take a look at, and that will be your eighth and ninth collectibles. The next collectibles, you want to make sure that you get them at this point in the game because they are missable. You can replay all of these acts and collect them, but you might as well get them first time while you're here. So when you get past the cutscene, you head inside and there is a collectible behind the reception desk that's immediately in front of you. And if you head all the way down to the bottom of the room and past the elevator, there is a final notice board collectible on the right hand side, and that is number 11. The 12th collectible, and this one will actually unlock an achievement if you do it. When you head up to the elevator, there is a projection on the screen. All you have to do is sit and watch it. You will get the 12th collectible, and also you will unlock an achievement. The final four collectibles are all in the physics lab. There are two in this first little room here you go into. There's one of a picture of you and your friend in Utah, and there's a laptop on the desk where you can get your next one. It's not very difficult to miss. When you leave that little room, immediately on the desk on your right, there is the 15th collectible, which is an iPad. And immediately in front of that, there is another little notice board here with a schematic, which is your 16th and final collectible for Act 1, Part 1 of Quantum Break. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and find it useful. Like I said, the Act 1 Part 1 collectibles are very, very easy. They're all pretty much on your way when playing the story, so the future videos will be slightly more difficult. But I still wanted to make this first one just to cover everything. As always, if you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.